Well, now, one of those cleared of all charges at the end of the trial was the former managing editor of the News of the World, Stuart Cutner. I spoke to him after the verdicts had been returned, and I began by asking him how he felt being a free man. Well, uh, I haven't quite come down to earth yet. I mean, I've lived with this, frankly, hideous nightmare for three years. Uh, it's, um, the accusation was unfounded. Uh, there was no substance to it. But I was obviously sort of part of a group who were to be rounded up and to, to play a role in, um, I don't quite know how to describe it. I think it, it's, it's the state, uh, through its, its, its legal arms, the Crown Prosecution Service, uh, the police force, Metropolitan Police Force, chose to take on the press. And uh, obviously, I deeply, deep, personally, deeply resent that. I resent it for my colleagues and uh, I'm, or I am inclined to use the term stitch-up because that's at heart what I believe it was. What lay behind it for the general public, one suspects, was a, a terrible feeling of anger that a missing teenager's telephone had been hacked. I've you, not... pr you played that, that hacked message to the police, who you now, of course, have a pretty strong feeling of resentment against, but you played it to them. Did you at the time wonder how on earth the news of the world had got hold of it? That's not entirely accurate, John. Uh, in fact, what happened in, our, in the matter of Millie Dowler was that a, I, I now know, but didn't know at the time, was that a member of the staff of the News of the World uh, had obtained material from uh, whatever you call it, a voicemail of Millie Dowler. It was brought to my attention and I picked up the telephone to the police headquarters uh, at Surrey Police, and I said, I have some information which may be of some use, and the police sought to put me through to a press officer, and I explained that I wanted to speak to a senior police officer, since I believed this was information that might be significant and might help the police find a missing teenager. But my question was, did you not wonder how the information had been obtained? At that moment, no, no, I didn't. No, my, my immediate uh, reaction... The voicemail of a missing teenager comes into your possession and you have no interest in how it was found. No, that's not... No, I didn't say that. You just said that. What I've, what I've told you is that information w uh, was brought to me which might or might not have led to the finding of Millie Dowler and my, as managing editor, my immediate reaction uh, was to pick up the telephone to the police headquarters at Surrey and to pass on that information to them. You were the managing editor. That's a job of some responsibility. Yes, it's... In any news organisation... Yes, it is. ..you were presiding over a criminal enterprise. I don't know about the managing editor at uh, Channel 4 News, but I can tell you that the managing editor at the News of the World, as was, did not preside over and certainly did not preside over a criminal enterprise. And within this, there was the Mulcair money. I mean, there were great volumes of money that were passing through your system. And uh, though you're not guilty of any offence, there's the question of, you know, what happened on your watch? Are you, it, are you sorry I, for what happened I on your watch? I have said it, I have said... Uh, let, let me answer your question. I've said it once, and I'm going to say it again. Uh, I've agreed to come and talk to you. I'm happy to do that. Uh, there are other issues which perhaps we'll come on to briefly in a moment. Um, please don't try and usurp the function of a jury that sat for seven and a half, almost eight months, and heard detail and had documents containing millions and millions of words. They were happy that I played no mm. part in any criminal mm. activity, and I can tell you from from my conscience, if you like, or from wherever you like, neither did I. But you've expressed horror, you've expressed your own conviction that you were as innocent as you were proved by the jury, but one word that you've not offered is either sorry, apology, either to the victims of the I don't hacking, have a problem with that. Or to I'm, the general public. I am, I am appalled by the uh, phone interception, phone voicemail interception, that went on unknowns to me at the News of the World. I, I told the police I was appalled by it. Am I sorry? I am deeply sorry. More than sorry, I am ashamed that such went on 
among people working for that newspaper. And, and I'm sorry and I am ashamed. Now you've heard the word you wanted to hear. Well, but I, I want to get on to the, 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 the more substantive issues that you referred to. I mean, are you sorry for Andy Coulson? I am very sad for Andy Coulson and his family. Did you get him wrong? Did I get him wrong? I don't know the answer to that. Well, he's been convicted of a serious criminal Well, offense. yes, convictions, you know, a conviction is a conviction. It sort of sounds a bit like the news of the world, isn't it? Sort of, well, it's criminal, but, you know, who cares? Well, I think if you want to make light of it, that's your choice, John. Well, that is what you're doing. No, 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 that is what you were just doing. Uh, did Coulson do wrong? Well, the jury found him guilty. That's the answer to that. Did the and Andy Coulson... Do you accept Coulson, that he was did, guilty? Did the Andy Coulson... Do you accept I, that he was guilty? Did the Andy Coulson... I accept that the jury have convicted him. Do you accept did, that he was guilty? I don't know. No, I mean, Andy Coulson was the editor for a good, a good chunk of your final time at the News of the World. Did he set this culture? Did he set this kind of, you know, the story at any cost culture? Or was that, I never worked was that with, there before? I never worked... I, I never as managing editor of the News of the World, which is somewhat removed from the journalism, mm -hmm. other than from mm -hmm. the leaders that I wrote, I never believed that any editor set uh, such a culture. So did, Ru did alien Rupert... alien to well, me. So somebody must have set the culture. Well... It was Rupert Murdoch, wasn't it? Let's be candid. You said yes, you were let's going to be, be candid. Can let's be candid. Three or four people have pleaded at, at an infinitely lower level than Rupert Murdoch have pleaded guilty. And they were not charged with setting the culture of the paper, they were charged with criminal offences. What I'm asking you is, who set... The, the, the News of the World had a very, very distinct culture. Who set it? Well, clearly an editor influences the culture of a newspaper, but in terms of wrongdoing, of criminal activity, I frankly believe that this lay with the individuals themselves. Maybe I'm naive. Maybe I like, I put most personally trust in people where I should have been more cautious. And was some of that trust put in Rupert Murdoch? I, I, Has he I hung you not... out to dry? Let's, pick, uh, let's ask the brutal question. Have you been hung out to dry? I, 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 I've no reason to believe that whatsoever. It's not exactly a ringing endorsement of a beloved leader, is it? Well, short of shining his shoes, what do you want me to say? I do not believe Rupert Murdoch had anything to do with the circumstances in which Rupert I have been Murdoch hung out was, on to dry. The was on the telephone to me, as you know, as this interview began. I was rather and bemused by that, yes. Well, you were rather bemused. Bemused. You don't need to be bemused. He was. Well, I'd like to know what he was going to say to well, you. Well, when we f when we finish, I will call him back. But I'll have missed it by then. Well, it won't be for you anyway, John. Well, indeed it won't. But I'm still wondering how you feel about him. I feel about I want to talk to him. That's how I feel about him. What are you going to say to him? You are immensely unlucky because I am not going to. Well, Stuart Cutman, thank you very, very much for coming in. Thank you. Former News of the World managing editor Stuart Cutner, who was cleared yesterday of being part of the phone hacking conspiracy. If you want a full briefing on the hacking trial, do go to our website, channel4.com forward slash news and follow the links. And later in the programme, We'll be debating the issues raised by the case. Kathy. Thanks, John.